What made you want to be involved in this campaign? Okay, so a few months back, I approached Mark Darcy about uh, making a donation to um, our half marathon attempt. Um, me and three colleagues, uh, we were set to do the Leicester Half Marathon um, in full fire kit to raise money for the VHI Foundation uh, and the Firefighters Charity. Um, and we contacted Mark Darcy and they informed us about this campaign as almost like a trade-off. Um, and I thought, what a great campaign to get involved with. What advice would you give to someone who is struggling? The best advice I would probably give would be to talk to people. Um, and you may not always get the reaction you want when you first talk to someone. They may not, um, they may not sympathise too well with you. Um, the key is just to not stop talking. You know, if, if one person doesn't understand what you're going through, maybe speak to someone a little closer to home. Um, so like for me, when I've been to certain incidents, people at home not, not have, haven't necessarily understood what happened. But when I've spoke to other people I work with, they kind of get it. And it, sometimes it's reassuring to know that you're all on the same song sheet. Um, one particular incident we went to, it was on our last night shift, and then we had four days off. Um, and then the first day back at work, after chatting to the others, you realise that you're all kind of thinking the same thing about it and you're not on your own. So, yeah, I'd definitely say talk to someone. Uh, do you find it difficult to switch off after work? Um, it depends what kind of shift I've had. So if, if we've had quite a busy shift, um, with lots of different types of incidents, it sometimes is hard to switch off. But it's not always a bad thing to switch off. You know, if, you, if an incident has not gone the way you wanted it to go, it's probably sometimes good to reflect on it. And um, So it is good to think about certain things, to learn from it. Um, but I'm quite fortunate, I've got a half hour drive after I've finished work. so. It's quite nice to unwind and just listen to the radio and that's quite nice. Yeah. Do you kind of leave work at work or take it home with you? Yeah, I try my best to leave it at work and if anybody asks me what sort of shift I've had then I'll tell them but generally I'll just, just not say anything. Because people get bored of hearing about what I do at work. You know. Do you just think that helps and do you find that important to have little routines like that that help you kind of compute everything that's happened mentally. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, thinking time is always good. And I think with us as well, a lot of the time we'll bring up an incident, maybe a few months later, we'll say, oh, remember that, remember that incident we had where this, this and this happened? And sometimes you try and extract the funny bits out of it and then reflect on the other bits. And, and then that's sometimes good to do as a whole watch. Yeah. Um, and it's also good to do as a whole watch because if, there's, if somebody else isn't, wasn't there on the day, they can learn from it and go, oh right, yeah, I didn't, you know, didn't realise that would happen. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and what do you do to relax? I don't relax. <laughs> what time to relax? Um, I do enjoy holidays with family. Um, I try and stay fit and healthy, so. I'm doing quite a lot of running lately. Um, Which that in itself is good for your mental health, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. because you can get out and... I don't run with music either, because I sometimes like to just listen to the world. Because I think with like, the modern modern world at the minute, we're all in front of a screen a lot of the time, um, always listening to stuff that's going on. It's sometimes just nice just to hear your feet on the streets and unwind. Yeah. Um, how do you cope with the pressures of your job and everyday life in general? I think by, by always having something to look forward to is always a good way to deal with it, you know. I think life sort of offers you that naturally, you know, you've always got, say, a birthday to look forward to or you've got Christmas to look forward to or a holiday that's coming up. Um, even to an extent like work, like I quite enjoy going to work. I 
love, I love what I do for a living. So, you know, I've, I don't get like Sunday blues like normal normal people do. You know, I quite enjoy. Look, I look forward to going to work. And, um, so yeah, I think always having something to look forward to is a good thing. Um, so would you say that's a good piece of advice to give to somebody for them to try and sort of aim to work in something that they love, that yeah. they're passionate about? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I feel like this, the half marathon that we did was quite a good, um, I, put, I posted something on social media a while ago and it was um, something like, if you're feeling a bit crap, um, set yourself a ridiculous challenge and do it for charity and it'll just make you feel better. Yeah, that's Which, great, great advice. Yeah. So.